Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, bringing you episode 10 of my series, Who Performs Best, BPL Striker Edition. In this episode, Jovetic will be going up against Suarez in the second quarterfinal. Whoever wins this will play Aguero in the first semi-final, which will be episode 13, I think. Um, right, but anyway, I've redone the intro for this video as... I need to apologise for not uploading this sooner, I know there's been a hell of a lot of pack openings and some people obviously, well most people have subbed to my channel for this series since it's unique to my series, so I apologise, this will be back, it'll be all done, don't worry, um, and yeah, please let me know any ideas you've got for season 2, because as I've said in other videos, I've done the editing for all, the, uh, all of season 1, I already know who's won. All that stuff, it's all edited, it just needs to get uploaded. But anyway, let's see how Jovetic and Suarez do perform in these three games, and we'll see who does join Aguero in the semi finals. Okay, so that game did finish 6-0, as you can probably tell, for some of that he wasn't playing, so I tried to get some good goals like skill runs, and I hope you did enjoy that matter shot. When that went in, I did go a bit crazy, because it's just the way it went in, it was such a good goal, but anyway, Suarez got a 9.5 rating, and Jovetic got a 9.2, so extremely high ratings. Uh, they are both great players if you haven't tried them out. I had 22 shots, 12 on target, he had 7, 6 on target. Surprisingly. He nearly kept up with possession, probably because like when I was tackling it was going back to him when he wasn't playing, but anyway, on the game two.
Okay, so I lost that game 3 0. Um, I had a few shots, not many on target. I did play pretty poorly that game. Okay, Suarez got a 6.6 .6 rating and Jovic a 6.4, so it still is extremely close. I think Suarez is just edging it. I had 10 shots on target, 3, sorry, 10 shots, 3 on target. He had 21, 18 on target, and he had 55% possession. So, yeah, I did deserve to lose that. I played poorly anyway on the game 3. Okay, so I did lose 5-1. I think I got hit by an onslaught at the end. Uh, a lot of his shots were there. I did think his keeper did perform well. Uh, it's debatable. I definitely didn't deserve to lose 5-1. He had 20 shots, 16 on target. I had 10, 8 on target. He had a lot more possession. Oh well, I, it's not really about the results. It's about the player ratings, obviously, of Jovic and Suarez. Suarez got 7.4 and Jovetic 8.2, so this does make it unbelievably close for the final match review to see who will face Aguero in the first semi-final. So without further ado, let's just get straight into that review. Right, so this is the review. Um, before I start, as I said at the start of the game briefly, both of these players are very, very good on FIFA and I would highly recommend you try them. I know I lost two games, but... <laughs> During like the, the time I played these games, I was having a horrific FIFA session. I know I won the first one 6-0, but that was partly because of his team and partly because he wasn't playing. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't worry. The series does improve in terms of me winning. But anyway, the players. Jovetic is probably my slight favourite out of the two. Uh, he just seems to have a bit more like curve on his shots and seems to be a bit better at heading. Um... In general though, they're both great at getting forward, they're both good at dribbling, both good at shooting, they're just great. If you haven't tried them, I'd highly recommend them. But anyway, on to the review. In game 1, Suarez got 9.5, Jovetic 9.2. In game 2, Suarez got 6.6, .6, Jovetic 6.4. In game 3, Suarez got 7.4, Jovetic 8.2. So that does mean for the average match ratings, Suarez got 7.83 and Jovetic got 7.93. So that does mean the winner is Jovetic. This may come as a surprise to a lot of people because Jovetic has already knocked out Rudy and has knocked out Suarez now. I mean, it's very, very close. As I said, both players are brilliant, but since he's facing Aguero, if he knocks out Aguero, that means he's knocked out th three of the four highest rated players in the BPL. That shows how good he is. Right, and another thing I want to reiterate is this doesn't mean, whoever wins doesn't mean they're the best, okay? That just means they perform best in the three games I've played with them. 
because I've noticed in the Rooney Suarez one, uh, no, no, sorry, Rooney Jovetic episode, I think it's got four or five dislikes. Compared to my other videos, that's double. Um, and I'm a little bit disappointed, and I think that's because Rooney did get beaten. Whoever wins is not necessarily the best, it's just a series I've done. And it's three games, and whoever performs best goes through. I'm not saying they're the best striker in the Premier League. I just want to like reiterate that point. But anyway, next episode will be Remy versus Hernandez. That'll be for a place in the semi-final, obviously. It'll be the third place. And then the game after that, I think, is Torres versus Van Persie. So, yeah, them two episodes should be pretty interesting. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, then please do hit that like button. It really, really does help my channel. It gets it up a few pages of uh, it gets it up a few pages on YouTube every like ten likes. It's insane. Uh, comment for anything you think I can improve. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 videos and peace.